Hey guys. So these are those two bottles that we basically just heated up the broth and we, we put inside of them, two jars. And um, I think all of us have heard before from people when we say, gosh, I don't, I don't know if I can that correctly. They say, well, if it's sealed, then it's fine, right? This is one way you check to see if something is good and sealed is you pick it up just by the, the top. Obviously, these are sealed, but are they fine? So what we did is we heated up that stock like you saw. We poured it into very hot jars. Everything was hot. Lids were hot. Everything was hot. We put the rings on. And they sucked down and they sealed. This was uh, used to be popular until about the early 80s. It's called open kettle canning. Uh, people used to do it mostly for high acid things, not for things with meat in them. So if you went online and typed in, is this okay? And people say, is it sealed? It's sealed. It's got a strong seal. Is it okay for consumption? And the answer is no, it's not because the microorganisms in here have not been brought to temperature for the length of time it requires to kill them. So this is not safe to eat. So why did I do that? Well, I did it for a test for one thing, but the other thing I can do now is I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. I did not process them, but they're still good to eat. And they will keep in the refrigerator for an amazing amount of time. I will treat this as if it's already opened, even though the seal is on here. This will keep much longer than an open can of um, stock wood. So um, I did that just to show you some air is out of here. When I use it again, um, I mean, it's just like making fresh stock, pouring it into a jar and then putting the lid on. So I will heat it up before I use it. Um, right now it's good to go. Those organisms will grow setting on the counter or in your um, storage room temperature for a while. But these are going directly into the fridge and they I wouldn't be surprised if this lasted longer than a month and it probably will. But I'll open it up, I'll give it the sniff test, I'll also bring it to a boil and if I'm ever in doubt I'll throw it out. But remember, when you're talking to people and maybe you haven't processed something for the full amount of time and they say, well, if it's sealed, it's fine. That's bullshit. It's not fine. Do it right. Botulism is a thing. So is, so is uh, food poisoning. So, and, and that's the other thing I just touch on real quick. I have a hard time when people say, well, nobody has ever died. Nobody's ever gotten sick from eating my food. Well, how about this? I take this, I put it on the shelf. I bring it out and I make dinner with both of these, right, in three months. People go home and in two or three days, they get stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, and they get sick. Are they going to realize that two or three days ago they ate this and this is what made them sick? I mean, it... If people are saying nobody ever got sick from eating my improperly canned items, what that person would need to do is track everybody who eats it and track them for days afterwards to make sure that they weren't having any bad side effects. And then if they were having any stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, GI distress, they would have to then trace it back to their cooking. And nobody does that. You know, if you eat something and you, you get your stomach's upset and you get sick, you figure, ah, I ate something bad. But maybe <laughs> it was because uh, Aunt Zelda canned your chicken stock incorrectly. So I don't believe people either when they say, well, nobody's ever gotten sick. Well, how in the hell would you know? You can tell I'm passionate about this stuff. Do it right. Do it safely. And once you get educated, then you can start cutting corners if you feel like that's something you want to do. That's not something I want to do. These are going in the fridge. Let me know if you have any questions.